Hello everybody, David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com. It is October 14th, 2011, also known as iPhone 4S Day. And here it is. Nope, that is the iPhone 4. This is actually my mom's. Um, I will also be unboxing this in my next video, hopefully my next video. She got the white 8, 8 gb so it was only like $989, I think. Um, but I obviously got the 4S, hence the title of this video. Here it is, iPhone 4S in black and 32 gigabyte. I was originally gonna go for 16 gigabyte, but I was like, you know what, this thing does 1080p video. I'm probably gonna need the extra space because now I can vlog on the go with my freaking phone. How awesome is that? Uh, for those watching, well, for those newbies watching, I apologize for the noise in the background. It's windy as a windy day. Um, I've been using the 3GS. So this is a huge, upgrade for me. Uh, but first, I want to take a minute to thank Steve Jobs for everything he has done for Apple. Um, I'm actually dedicating this video to Steve Jobs because, and this is obviously a coincidence, iPhone 4S, I'm calling it iPhone for Steve. So thank you, Steve Jobs, very much for everything you have contributed to one of my favorite companies in the world, one of my favorite brands, and you guys truly make some of the best products in the world. And I just feel that's necessary because without Steve Jobs, Chances are very good we will not have the iPhone 4. So anyway, enough talking. Let's switch this camera angle and get to the unboxing of the iPhone 4S. All right, here we have it. iPhone 4S, again, black, 32 gigabyte AT&T. Not that it really matters which carrier you use because this is now a world phone, which is pretty sweet. So this will work on AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint, as well as a bunch of other carriers worldwide. So there goes the plastic. Now this is going to look exactly like the iPhone 4, so it's nothing radically new. But for me, it is. And here it is. Well, I don't want to take the plastic off yet. Very nice. I'm so freaking happy to finally have this in my hand. 8 megapixel camera, which is pretty awesome. 3.5 inch screen. Retina display, obviously VGA front facing camera. Volume buttons and your silent switch or orientation lock, 30 pin dock connector, and speaker and microphone. On the side here you have your micro SIM tray, headphones jack, and your sleep wake button. Now let's put that aside for a second and see what else is in here. It should be fingertips and everything. Looks like a tornado going on outside. Yep, fingertips, iPhone 4S guide. And, well, is this a guide? I don't know if you can call it a guide. It's probably just terms and conditions and stuff. Here is, well, here are some Apple stickers. That's always good. And, of course, Apple's famous bookshelf. I've always liked that design. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm easily amused. Here's your power adapter, which does not come with the iPod Touch, which is very interesting. 30-pin dock connector, which I won't use that often, uh, except for charging, obviously. And your standard earbuds, which are not that great, but it's always good of Apple to include them. So there it is, guys. iPhone 4S. Let's do a first boot. Let's take the plastic off. Here it comes. Bam! Beautiful. All right, let's put this right here while that boots. Let me go around the camera. In stereo. So now it should be on the left side of your speakers. All right, here's the iPhone 3GS, 16 gigabyte. iPhone first generation, eight gigabyte. And finally, the new iPod Touch, fourth generation in white, which I gotta say, guys, I have been loving this for the past 24 hours or so. Look, there's me. I obviously gotta get a case for this, but I'm just booting it to show you guys the setup process, so here we go. iPhone. Configure if it's gonna let me. Actually, we gotta take the back plastic off first. All right, there we go. Now it's letting me. That was odd. English. Now I've had a couple of people in the comments request the setup process. So here you go. Busters our network. Let me put the password in. Okay. Good. Next. Now activating. And there's my phone number. 
All right, it's still activating. I just had to put my uh, phone number, I mean my uh, zip code and social security uh, number and just the last four digits. And now it should activate. This is actually really cool that you don't even have to tether it to iTunes to activate anymore. Everything happens wirelessly, which is pretty sweet. Now, AT&T servers are getting slammed right now, so I don't know if this is going to work right away. We'll see. It says it may take up to three minutes. And it's doing some kind of flicker, so it's trying to do it. Anyway, while we're waiting for that, let's look at a comparison of the 3GS versus the iPhone 4S. Very similar in size, but this is indeed thinner. Still activating. Now the iPhone 4S next to the first generation iPhone, which is very slippery and difficult to hold, but there you go. What a huge difference in design. I mean, look at that. Huge, huge difference. It's amazing how, how far the iPhone's come. And finally, the 8GB iPod Touch, which is obviously the thinnest out of all the devices because uh, there's a lot less going on inside. Alright, I'm still waiting for this to activate. I don't know if this is even going to work. Again, their servers are getting slammed right now with activations, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'm back after about three minutes. It says, cannot activate iPhone. Your activation is still pending, which is not that bad. I mean, at least it's pending and it's not failing. Uh, you will receive an email notification once your activation is complete. We're sorry, there's a problem connecting to the server. Please drag on later, blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, but there you go. There's the iPhone 4S unboxing. Now I just got to patiently wait because, well, this might take a minute. But not a huge deal. At least it's finally in my hands, well, on my desk if you want to get technical. And thank you guys so much for watching. If uh, you have any questions about the iPhone 4S versus the iPhone 3GS, which I've owned for two years now, then just ask in the comments below. Check out my social links below the video for a free audiobook as well if you're interested in that sort of thing. Check it out. Trust me. And I will see you guys next time.